Hi hi, it's Milty, and I am back again with another um, Issue Worth Your Gems episode with you guys. Oh my god, I actually forgot. And today, we will be discussing... The, actually, I, I guess it's not the most awaited, but I've been waiting for her for a long time. Which is Kogoro Akechi Akira Yukishiro. So today, uh, we will be discussing why you must pull for her. And that's why I actually waited for her instead of Fiend, 20 face. Yeah. So anyways, look at her design. It's so perfect. Like, hello, the detail. I don't know, I'm just such a fan. Ever since I saw her in Japan server, she was so pretty. But her prettiness is not the only thing, she's actually pretty crazy as well. So, she is a back row moon unit and she has pretty cool skills, so let's get into it. As far as I know, she has 1600 something speed, so she's not that fast. Not that, not super slow as well, but I guess it's okay. Um, so, um, what she has is Detector's Deduction, which is low damage to enemy with the lowest normal defense. Um, act power up to self. It's kind of weird, right? Um, it's like a very weird combo for a PvE unit, but it's okay. She has Detective's Investigation, which is medium damage and attack power down and normal defense down, special defense down to three front enemies. So basically, she lowers everything you have um, for the three front. And she has brilliance recovery to all allies. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you guys should know that Gust of Brilliance is um, found in specific stage drills only. And these are very helpful um, for your whole team. Why? Because if you have Gust of Brilliance, most probably you have ult at the start already. <laughs> And that's really crazy. So, um, these are just okay. Um, her skills are, I guess, specifically aimed towards those with the climax act, like the heavy climax acts. Um, but this is where it gets crazy. She does very high damage to three rear enemies and evasion twice to all allies. So, if you guys are familiar with Birthday Mahiru, she's very annoying. I hate her. I actually always ban her. She's one of my top bans and I always ban her. Why? Because she gives evasion and fortitude. But on the other hand, um, Akechi has two evasion. And if you guys know, if evasion makes you um, miss any, in oh, excuse me, any incoming damage by the enemy, unless it's at perfect aim, as far as I know. Um, so what happens is, if someone hits you, like two hits, you won't get hit at all. Usually, um, there are climax acts that have one hit, and this is very useful. So, um, this would help you survive Queen, Har Queen of Hearts Yachio at least a bit. But it's actually pretty useful, and I've been waiting for her because this is really insane. Two evasion is really a big thing. So her unit skill is very useful for the back row. And you guys know that back row meta is already here. Um, hopefully I still get 20 phase, I don't have her, but once I have them, I have like a full back row on my team already. So um, she does max HP up, defense up, you guys know that. Um, this is useful because she is tanky for the back row. So if you're planning to go for the back row, I suggest getting her before 20 phase because she is actually really good. She is confusion resistant, so it is very useful, especially against Groom and against the incoming. Um, is it Mad Hatter Lalafin? I'm not sure, but those with confusion are actually really annoying, and that means she counters Groom sort of as well. She's actually nice to be paired with with Groom, but anyways, um, she has dexterity plus eight percent, meaning that she deals a lot of damage and fortitude resist. So if you do your ult. Um, and you start ulting at the game at the start of the game. Sorry, um, you get fortitude and to evade, and that's actually a lot. It's gonna help you survive. So, um, is she good for PVE? That I am not sure. Um, I'm not really sure because I think she is more of a PVP unit 
she hits um, single targets, but I guess it's meh. It's pretty meh for PvE, I think, in my opinion. Her Glam Sax is useful though, but I think she is more of a PvP unit, in my opinion. Um, would I go for her over Fiend? Um, yes. I I am like at step 5 of Fiend. I don't even have her. I hope I get her in the next step. I have like 2,000 gems and grinding. But yeah, um, this will most probably last the whole... Um, what do you call this? The whole of the, the season's PvP. So if you guys are aiming for PvP rewards, try your best to reach top 100 or whatever just to get gems. Um, but with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. She is really great for PvP. She'll make you dodge a lot of things. It's really useful. Especially if you pair her up with Groom. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Groom would be able to have like 6 evades. That's insane. If you give her May Fun's Day or something. But yeah. Um, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with me. Sorry for the late upload. I actually just woke up. And I'm giving you guys a gacha, good luck, and peace.